Okay, so this time I'm going to show how to add uh, an extra tooth to a, an existing design without having to start over. Uh, to show this, I'm going to use the, the demo case for the three element bridge and we'll just jump right into the design. So, say in this case, uh, the doctor then decided, you know what, just, I'm just going to pull the distal most molar that, that already exists in the patient's mouth and I want you to extract it from the scan data and then add a add, add an extra molar here. Okay, so then, um, yeah, I, I can do this without having to start my design over. So the first thing I'll do, go to expert mode. I would edit my scan data with the mesh and then I would extract this tooth. Now, this is one way of doing extractions. It is not uh, too accurate, but uh, it gets a, the, the job done. So we can do that. And now I wanna add a molar here. Now I can I can take the time here in an extra mode, uh, freeform the scan data and uh, make further changes if I needed to. Say I wanna create a, a deeper sulcus here. Um, we could do that. But let's pretend that this is perfect. Now I can right click on, on my merged bridge and go into freeform um, merge reconstruction and then in attachments I'm going to go to uh, the, the library of attachments and go all the way to the bottom go from file and then I'm going to navigate where my exocad is installed so for me it's in the C drive and then I go to the dental CAD app library and make sure that you go to the Pontix folder now you have all the libraries that exist in ExoCAD or that you have installed here. So this looks like, like the generic library. And this is a lower jaw. And so I'm not gonna see any SDLs here for me to pull from. So what I have to do is put asterisk period asterisk here, click enter or press enter. And then all the files available in this library will show up. So this would be a number seven. So I'll double click on that and then it'll pull it here. Okay, now it's gonna take a little bit of uh, free forming uh, in order for us to, uh, and, and to move around. And this doesn't move around as intuitively as uh, you, as a regular tooth model does. So if I, if I wanna rotate, I can do it with control. So I have to go here to rotate, then I can rotate it. And if I wanna move it, I have to go back to move so I can pan it around. And if I want to change the size, I have to go to scale and then change it. So it's it, it's a little more complicated. Um, now it did import the number seven on the opposing side. So uh, we'll have to make some changes here in, in the freeforming in order to make it look more like a, like the one that, that we're looking for. And then what I want to make sure is that I'm making contact here so that I'm going through the adjacent mesh and I can click apply and now it'll add it to my restoration. Okay, so now it's part of my bridge. So if I was to freeform this here, I can extend the connector that I just created. And now that molar is part of my tooth, oh, or part of my bridge, I mean. Um, so with that, we can then uh, do the adaptations, adapt to gingiva, it'll cut all this extra stuff out, for example, and, and continue forward. Now. This technique only works if you wanna add um, an extra unit to the distal most position or the mesial most position. I, I can't do anything here in, in the middle. I, it's a free form into shape, which is which can be tedious. And that's pretty much it.